Hey you guys, I am so excited about this video. Um, in this video, we are going to do a deep dive into our history curriculum that we're using this year in our homeschool. Um, and so if you're interested in that, we're gonna do a flip through of the curriculum and then I'm gonna share some extra little goodie activities that we're doing to help enhance our subject of history. So stay tuned. If you're new here, my name is Melissa. I am a wife. My husband and I both work from home. We have our own creative agency and we have two incredible daughters whom I homeschool. And on this channel, we talk all things honestly about what it is you're called to do and how to do it well. And so for me in this season, it includes a lot of homeschool, some business stuff, um, some practical time management, house management stuff. So we're going to dive into all of that on this channel, but today we're going to go into our history curriculum. So let's just dive into it. We're using this year, um, not grass, our 50 states. And I love it. We're like two, two weeks in and we've been loving it. I did a ton of research just looking at different curriculums, trying to figure out what we wanted to use. I My oldest is in first grade and my youngest is almost three. So she's just kind of a tag along in our lessons. But for my first grader, I wanted to do something that was a really good introductory level to some history, some geography, um, even some government concepts without being too overwhelming or boring. And I came across Knotgrass and felt like I found a hidden gem because a lot of people, I haven't seen a lot about the curriculum. I haven't seen a lot of reviews um, or a lot of things out there on social, on social media. So I felt like I just scored, honestly. Um, but we have been loving it. So I'm gonna do a deep dive in this video. We'll do a flip through of the actual curriculum. I'll show you all of the, um, like inside the student workbooks and just talk about what, like how it's been going for us and how we're using this curriculum this school year. Okay, so with this curriculum, you will need the R50 States textbook, which it's like a regular textbook, like feel, but it's so much more and so much better. It's beautiful, beautiful inside. And then you will need a student workbook. And also it comes with the 50 States lesson review, and then an answer key guide and a literature guide, which I will dive into all of that in a second. But let's go into the main curriculum book, which is the textbook. So the curriculum is set to be used on a four to five day schedule um, to do this curriculum four to five days a week. So on that pace, you will cover two states a week. Um, so there's a nice introduction in the curriculum, breaking down all of the different aspects that they include, why it's included and how to use it. There is information on the additional literature that you can add, which was a huge perk for me in choosing this curriculum. It was one of the reasons why I wanted to do it because there were optional read alouds. At the very beginning of the book is a beautiful map of the United States that is divided into the regions. You'll reference this a lot during the lessons, um, as well as the students referencing it in their student activity book. So let's flip ahead to the first unit so you can get a good, a good peek at what this curriculum includes. So it starts in New England um, and the first two states are made in New Hampshire. So the first lesson of the state is going to include more like interesting and historical facts about the state. Um, it varies from state to state. It's not like a set where you learn the state bird and the state flower and a fun fact. It, it kind of varies, which I like. It's also really beautifully written a little bit like a read aloud, which is which is nice because 
you will be reading this out to your student. And then at the end of each lesson, there will be additional activities that you can do. So let's go through the next lesson, which we're still on main, so it's two lessons per state. And this first lesson is more fact heavy, and the second lesson is more like enrichment. So there is um, a song, which I love. Knotgrass has a link that has all of the songs associated, and they're usually like folk, historical songs. It's just a really fun way to bring history to life. And then there's also a story that goes into um, a character, a fictional character, that's, that's the word. There's a fictional story that kind of describes life. And so it's a beautiful, descriptive, engaging story that brings just that state and that region to life. And then again, you have additional activities that you can do. The thing that I've been loving with this curriculum is that it's a really simple core curriculum, meaning the lessons don't take a long time. It's a very open and go. And there are so many opportunities to take some rabbit trails and to dive into certain topics that your student might be interested in. So I'm gonna skim through the next few states, just so you can see, you're gonna see that it takes the same format. The first lesson of the state is more fact-based and the second lesson is more um, like cultural enrichment, stories, music, for them to kind of engage their imagination of what it's like to live in that area. So hopefully that gives you a good grasp of what the textbook looks like, what the bulk core curriculum looks like. And now I'm gonna go um, just briefly over the lesson review book and the answer key and literature guide. So each state has a very short list of questions that you can ask your student or if your student is writing, um, mine isn't, we're working on reading and writing. But the way I use it is that I'll let her know at the beginning of the lesson, hey, we're gonna like answer a few questions at the end of this. So try to remember some fun facts that you hear and let's see if we can answer these questions together. But it is kind of nice because it's encouraging her to be engaged and to listen and to retain information. And then you have the answer key and literature guide. Now this will give you the answers to the coordinating questions in the lesson review. And then the other thing that I, again, loved about this curriculum is that there's recommended read alouds. You don't have to do it, but if you want to read a story, a chapter book, that is placed in the region that you are studying, it's a great addition. So it's about two chapters a week if you wanna keep up with their schedule. Now the special thing that I really, really appreciate it with Knotgrass is that they have a literature guide for each of their read alouds that is specific to the parent. It gives you a synopsis of what the book is about, and then it gives you specific pages in the book that might reference some things that you just might wanna be aware of. Um, maybe they're a big deal to you, maybe they're not, depending on your child's age. So you might think this is completely over the top. I actually really appreciate getting the heads up on some things like this. I just think it's like the extra mile that this company did to make sure the parent is as informed as they can be. So I loved that addition to the curriculum. Okay, so now we're gonna go through the, again, I'm always squinting in these when I do this. I need non-glare glasses. Um, we're gonna go through the Student Atlas Workbook. And you'll see that we've already, you know, have been doing this curriculum, so it's been colored in, but 
my girls have been loving this and we actually have one for my oldest um and my youngest and so this is kind of a i won't i won't do like a thorough flip through of hers but you know this is my two-year-olds but let's take a closer look at what the student workbook looks like. The Atlas workbook is, like I said, for the student and it's kind of their workbook and activity book. It opens up to a US state map, similar to the one in the textbook. They'll actually color this as you go through. So on the first day of the state, the student will be coloring the scenic picture. So every state will have a scenic picture that's related to their, the geography or the history of the state. There's also a little vocabulary word that they will copy. It gives you the definition and they will do some copy work for that vocabulary word. And I loved how they did this with the picture. It was a place for the student to recreate the scenic picture, but instead of just starting from a blank canvas, they have the outline of it, which I think is such a fun detail. And then the next page is dedicated to the second lesson of the state. And it's just, you know, you'll see some instructions, look at the state flag, bird, tree, and flower coloring certain you know certain aspects of the state so they'll do this on day two okay so now that you have a good idea of what that curriculum looks like overall again we're loving it i i don't know can i keep saying that probably we're loving it it's been it's just been a fun fun change of pace for us i think um a little bit more enriching and, oh, I didn't even mention, Knotgrass has additional resources on their website. I'll include it in the description below. But there is a song, I think I did mention this before, a folk song or a historical song that you can listen to for each state. And there's a very easy link um, that takes you to the page on their website and you can just go down and click the state and the song pops up. So it's very easy to use. There's also an additional resources page where they have other options for you to go and do your own rabbit trails with any specific state. So maybe it's the website of a, of a national park that's in that state or it's a you know educational YouTube video. There are just some really great additional resources. I love it. I love that they have done this extra work because you don't have to do any of the work if your student is piquing interest in a certain thing. Um, it's very likely that Knotgrass has some additional resources to you. So I'll include those links down below so you can um, also check it out, but it's just been a really fun, engaging study so far for us. Okay, now I'm gonna share two additional resources that we're using in addition to all the things for with Knotgrass. And I hope it doesn't sound overwhelming. I guess I should tell you, it takes maybe, maybe 20 minutes to go through a lesson. Um, honestly, it like the longest part is for us is my daughter wanting to color more, which works really well because then I will just pull out the read aloud, which like side note, this is, we, we happen to have this collection of reader digest, like vintage books that I bought at an estate sale. And I just bought them cause they were beautiful. And they had, you know, like who doesn't geek out about things like this when you're a homeschool mom? I do. Um, so I've just had them on the bookshelf, but I got super excited, like embarrassingly, probably too excited that one of the books included was our read aloud, Rabbit Hill. So I don't know, that's just a little random side note, but what works well for us is that when my daughter's just on 
I don't just engage with coloring and wants to keep coloring, I will immediately, when we're done with the lesson, I will immediately start reading our read aloud. So that's been a pretty good flow for us. But two additional resources that we are using when it's applicable and when we feel like it is one, well, let me get it all out. Okay, we have been subscribed to now two monthly, like nature, animal-based, not nature-based, animal-based like mailing subscriptions. Not both at the same time. We did one for a little while and then we started on a new one. I'm gonna share both of them with you. And I originally found the first one, I think on Instagram. I think I found both of them on Instagram. And I thought it was just a fun thing um, for my daughter to get. Like it's a letter mailed to her. And the first company is Writings in the Wild. And every month, I believe it was $6. Every month you get this beautiful, like beautiful um, letter from an animal. This is the Eastern Cottontail Rabbit. It's written um, as a letter, like this animal is narrating, and it includes all sorts of fun facts about the animal. It's like beautiful subscriptions. You could, my intention was, was really to make this um, like a unit study, kind of the like diving off point of a unit study, but just how, seriously, how beautiful is this? So this is Writings from the Wild. And we did this for about six to seven months um, and loved it. But we recently found, I think it's Animal Adventures. Again, it was an Instagram sponsored ad. Man, Instagram, Instagram knows me. They know how to get me. So we switched to this one because one, it comes with also beautifully illustrated, same kind of general feel of a letter written from the animal of the month. Be like just beautifully, beautifully illustrated. And so many fun facts that you could, you really could do a whole unit study on them. But their base, this company has different levels. Their base level I think is $9. I think that's what we're paying. Um, and the reason we went with this one is because it has some additional things such as a sheet specifically about where that animal is from or where it habitats largely. So this one is in Raleigh. So when we go through North Carolina in our knotgrass curriculum, this is going to be a little like rabbit trail unit study we're going to do on an animal that's found in that region. Of course, it's found in other regions, but just another way to tie it in. Um, and then it also comes with, oh, I can't read because I don't have my glasses. Um, some more little fun facts. And then on the back, how to draw the animal. So I will link both of these companies below. It's so fun. My daughter loves getting these every single month. They're beautifully done. Um, I'm collecting them. I'm going to keep them in a folder so that honestly, like years down the road, we can pull them out and do a study on them, do a unit study. So that's something that when we're able to, we're going to pull out an animal. Not all of them are based in the U S. Um, but when we have one, we're going to pull it out and use it. So that's a fun thing. And then the last thing, my daughter was actually the most excited about this and she was actually really disappointed when she found out it wasn't something we were going to do every day, but I don't even think I can fit this on this. So like, you can't even see me. Can you see it? <laughs> so we have this huge map that I got off of Amazon of the United States. And it is a scratch off, like a little scratch off mat where you, scratch it off and um i honestly don't remember which one this is i think this has like a beautiful like illustrated scene of that state there are a few different ones if you 
look on Amazon. Again, I'll link this below. But the goal with the plan with this is that she'll just scratch off the find the state and scratch it off every time we finish a state in our curriculum. And we haven't done it yet because we've only done one state and I have two daughters who will no doubt fight over who's able to scratch it off. So we're going to wait till we finish up um, our New Hampshire study and then they'll each be able to scratch off a state. But I thought that was a fun, I don't know, little way to just enhance it. And again, she helped me pick it out on Amazon, which one we wanted to get. And so she was just really excited about it. So I think that's it. I can't think of anything else. I think that is it. I feel like I covered all of what we use and how we use it for our 50 states study. If you can't tell, we really have been loving it. I, um, we're only two weeks in. I don't know why I just said, um, but we're only two weeks in. So we're just at the tip of the iceberg with this curriculum, but from what we can tell, we're going to thoroughly enjoy it. It is a really fun, light curriculum that gives you so many opportunities to just dive into deeper topics if you want to, but you also don't have to. So the weeks or the months when you just want to do the bare minimum, you can do the bare minimum. And it's still a really fun, um, like engaging an educational curriculum, but when you're able to dive in deeper, you can make it kind of what you want for your family experience. So I hope that's helpful. If there's anything else that you wanna know about this curriculum or how we're using it in our homeschool, let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. And then let me know, have you used Knotgrass, either this one or any of their other curriculums. I would love to know how you're enjoying it, how you use it in your homeschool, um, and what you would recommend. So thank you guys for watching. We'll have more of these types of videos coming out soon. The next one is actually going to be the language arts video. So that will be really fun. And I just thank you for being here and we'll see you next time. I will see you next time. There's no we in this video. I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye guys.